I'm here on June 1st now in Prague with two expert local guides, but I have to sneak away from them to show you some of these passages. There's a restaurant in here, as you can see, Pulcinella. Beautiful doorway, phenomenal detailing. And here's another one right here. I always love these secret passageways, and you have those in these late medieval buildings here. What a nice walkthrough. Beautiful. Look at this. Phenomenal. And it continues all the way through. Oh, my guides are here. Here they are. Excellent. Yeah, no, I, I don't have no idea where I'm going, but I have to show these little secret places. Definitely. Uh -huh. That's the best way as well to get to the old town square. Okay. It's easy to get lost here, that's true. This is a labyrinth of very narrow, it's exactly streets and tiny medieval land. I can imagine, as well, as yes. The cheese and that's right. Now these are beautiful one, one views man. of Prague. I mean, you could stop literally at every corner and take a picture, which I've been doing. Definitely. Another beautiful portal here. Nice street. Which way are we going? To the right. To the right, okay. What is our next destination? It is for sure the old town square. Uh huh. We should start. We will proceed to the little square. We uh huh. With the Renaissance bell. Okay. And to move to the astronomical clock, which is oh the right, basic that's one of the main main sites point. of yes. of Prague. Wonderful. So we are now walking through another one of these passages. Very nice. You can see cross ribbed vaulting on the top. Gothic, I would imagine, almost. Or maybe later? This is later, right? Oh, Renaissance. That's right. Oh, look at this here. Gorgeous. The architecture here. Gothic origin here. Almost the cellars. Okay. Uh, some of them have Gothic basement, uh -huh. Gothic structure. But and they were redone uh, during the Renaissance. To the Renaissance style or the Baroque or mm -hmm. the Rococo. That's why it's so complicated to pass the exam. Yeah. <laughs> the building consists of so many styles. I know. Yitka was explaining to me that tourist guides in Prague actually must pass an official certification. The training takes about six months, am I yes, correct? At least, yes. And it includes, I would imagine, history, architecture, uh, what, culture, what else? Culture, history, mm -hmm. art. history of art. Oh my and god, look at this square here. Um, you mm -hmm. must know in detail mm -hmm. 70 streets, 70. And some 20 squares at uh -huh. least. Oh wow. And you must know all the statues, all the origins of Passat. Oh <laughs> lord, yeah, you all have to elders. know a lot. That's amazing. What another beautiful square. What is the name of this square here? Oh, we're gonna get run over by the horses here. Oh they are coming right in our direction here. The small square? Small square, that's small the name. Square. Malay in shape, Malay square, triangle shaped square. Triangle, From uh -huh. historical point of view, we can say it's this kind of a gateway uh -huh. into the medieval market. Okay. As well as one of the first medieval crossroads. Imagine that the caravans of foreign merchants were coming from that direction. Uh -huh. After they forded the Vltava River later across the Charles Bridge. Okay. And here on that spot, they made together with the Czech merchants coming uh -huh. from that corner. Okay. And together they were entering the medieval marketplace. Oh, so the medieval marketplace is over in that direction. Great, I guess that's where we'll be heading next, right?